check out all my books on audible.com. The other issue that's brought up all the time that I see out there now is BMAA, which is found only in spirulina. Now, that's an amino acid, and that can lead to... Um, you don't find that in spirulina, by the way, and I'll tell you why in a second, but you can find it in other types of cyanobacteria. And the people that don't like spirulina... Uh, always confuse the two and they scare people about spirulina. They say, you know what, if you take this, there's a chance you could get Lou Gehrig's disease. That's ALS. Spirulina. Is it safe while pregnant? I'm afraid it may not even be safe when you're not pregnant. Um, and that's because of neurotoxic compounds that have been found contaminating spirulina supplements on the shelf. And spirulina manufacturers say this spirulina does not create this toxin, um, which may very well be the case. But the, the way they cultivate spirulina so they basically grow it kind of outdoors and there's contamination with other blue green algae for example that do make these toxins regardless it's found in the on the shelf and so that's all we really care about whether or not they it came from a contaminant algae or from spirulina itself now, not only the bmaa but there's other microsystems in cyanobacteria and spirulina is a cyanobacteria so first of all we test the spirulina rigorously for the bmaa and test reports that we get from our suppliers of spirulina, you'll not see any kind of BMA in there, in there. It's not toxic. There's no microsystems. We have these tests. We do them all the time. And then they say, well, you know, when you you take this out of a lake, yeah, if you take it out of a lake, you're kind of gambling. I, I think you got You still get a test report on it. But, you know, just taking it out of a lake, you could get other species in there. But when you're cultivating spirulina in a controlled environment, um, they say, well, you'll get other species of AFA in, in with the spirulina. You have no evidence of that. You're, you're not, these people, they're, they're medical doctors and they go on these studies and, and Lou Gehrig's disease is very serious and it's caused by, you know, sometimes, not always, by cyanobacteria, but not spirulina. So they kind of, you know, saying it's your guilt by association. You're a cyanobacteria, so you must have these microsystems in the BMAA in there, this amino acid. And again, as I said, first of all, spirulina doesn't have to t tend to have that. It's all about the environment. You go in the right environment, you can create anything. But then we test for it. We test every single batch. So we know it's not in there. So this is just nonsense. And where would you ever find another species of uh, cyanobacteria, such as AFA, Aphidus monflas aqua, and there's many other ones out there. Where, how could that get into the spirulina? We, we cultivate from a single strain, Spirulina plantensis. So how would the other ones get in there? Again, these are just, they're not cultivators. They don't know what they're talking about. And they just kind of hurt the name of Spirulina. But ask the people that you buy your Spirulina from, ask them for the test report. Now, if they don't provide it, that's a problem. Because I think everybody should provide these test reports, uh, these COAs, Certificate of Analysis, and these other things so you can be on the up and up. So I got all mine. You can... Just request that anytime. So if you can like and subscribe and share this video, it'd be a big help. I really appreciate it. Dr. Bob, see you next time.